there we go. I tried to open up this video with a cool little B-roll shot, but this is exactly why I can't do it, because I apparently can't even take off a boat strap. What's up, guys? In today's video, for most of you guys who do not know, I mean, I've, there's kind of been big hints and big hints and big hints. I did get a boat. I had this boat actually for a few months now, but I have not officially told you guys. I know it's been in a few videos or whatever, but this is when we are starting to do stuff to the boat. As you can see, we already did this. I didn't feel well, I did film it, but it turned out terrible, so I just scrapped the footage. But we do got a new trolling motor on a 14 foot StarCraft John boat. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, kind of just trying it out, trying out the new trolling motor that we put on, because I have not used it yet. So this should be interesting. I've never used one of those foot pedal trolling motors before. We're gonna get on the water now. We got till dark. We already know we had to stop at McDonald's. No, it's not the healthiest thing, but it for sure is the fastest thing. And today we're gonna be focusing on pretty much beating banks. I know with some creek pockets that we're gonna try to go back into. We're gonna be hitting creeks pretty hard today. First spot, we're about to give this trolling motor a whirl here. And I know you guys are gonna probably blow me up in the comments for like, oh, that's not stable enough. Well, don't worry, this is temporary. And if you guys are wondering what kind of trolling motor this is, this is a 70 pound thrust trolling motor and it's on a 14 foot aluminum. There we go, got him on the swim bait. There we go. I haven't been fishing the swim bait a lot lately. Oh, I got wrapped around the trolling motor. Usually don't have to worry about that, but hey, okay, we'll get him up here. It's not a bad bass. Get up here, bud. There we go. We've got my first fish of the day right here, and I wasn't recording when I took it off, but the hook literally just fell out. So what I'm doing is I'm throwing it parallel to the bank right now. All right, we'll get this little dude back. Here we go with the release on him. Get him back. Now that we got them back, I want to show you guys what I was throwing and where I was throwing it. So what I'm doing is we're getting right in the mouth of the creek, right there. The creek starts right there, and we're just beating the bank. We probably caught them right about where I'm at right now. And then I was throwing it this way. I was throwing a little swim bait, a little rage tail swim bait from Strike King, and we're throwing it parallel to the bank because this time of year, this is when they start to push up on the banks, and this is when they really start to eat this time of year, and they like hard baits, soft baits, like all just kind of jerk baits, all moving stuff. They're trying to get fat and happy for the winter. We're gonna get to fishing. Hopefully we can figure something out. Got him, there we go. Same creek. Got another fish on the swim bait. Oh, he choked it too. I just felt a few taps and he was on there. Oh, let's come back and let's get up here. There he is. One last attempt to try to spit it, but couldn't happen. There we go, another bass. My second fish of the day, not a bad one. So we're gonna put her back, let her swim away. But this fish was about 15 foot away from my last one. I was doing the same exact thing, slow rolling that swim bait right along the bank, like pretty close to the bank. And I'm sitting out here probably about 15 foot away from the bank or so. This is my second bite in 15 feet. So we're gonna keep doing this, see if we can't figure out a pattern. I'm not sure how that bank's gonna do because there's literally nothing on that bank. There is a little bit of structure on this bank. So we're gonna get back to fish. Fishing. Look at that. Now that, I know for a fact, I can walk, wade in the water all the way out to that third buoy, and he went in between the closest one and land. Oh my gosh, I thought for sure that guy was gonna bottom out on that flat. I don't know if you guys could see that or not, but I thought for sure he was about to bottom out. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, that jet ski is going so fast. As long as they stay away from me, they can do whatever they want, but just don't come close to me. I've had jet skiers almost hit me before. Next spot. There we go. That's better. I love this time of year because it's really nice during the day, but when the sun starts to set, that's when my temperature comes. I love this temperature right here. So we made it to the next spot. We're back in this creek and we absolutely messed them up in this creek. And I still see a few shad flicking back and forth, but we're gonna be throwing jerk baits, red eye shads, and of course swim baits back in this creek. We'll see if we can't make something happen. If you guys are new around here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification right next to it. And if you guys are subscribed, hit the bell because then you'll get notified every time I upload. And if you guys already have all of that, let me know down in the comments. I want to see who has notifications on. If you guys are new around here, let me know down in the comments. I'm going to try to respond to every single comment on this video. Oh yeah. And I've been seeing this little orange marker thing for about a week now. So I decided, eh, they're not coming back for it. I just kept it. Those things are like, they're not that bad. They're like $8. Ah, oh, there we go. They're like $8 a piece, but I mean, it's been out there, so I decided just find just keepers, but I did give it a little time before I took it. Got him. There we go. In the tree. Oh, no. No. Oh, I had one. He got me snagged. 
Dang it. Come on. Broke off. Man, I had them twice. I was like, I didn't think it was that deep here. I had two fish off this tree. Throwing the little baby brush hog. I guess I gotta tie another one on. That's good though. They're on structure in the creeks. So, and they're on the clay banks as well. So we're, we're starting to figure them out now. Nothing on the tree anymore. I guess I spooked them away. I missed two fish on this tree though. Next time I come here, I'm definitely gonna hit this tree hard. I, that's really the first time I've ever fished this tree, but I've been back in this pocket quite a few times. I've never really fished a tree, but definitely from now on, I'm fishing this tree. Got him. There we go. Oh, he's just a dink. He's just a dink. He's still fun though. Oh, get up here, Jesus. Jeez, he's flying out of the water. He did tap, 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 and there he was. There he is. Oh my gosh, this hook's just gonna fall out. Look at this. Oh, oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe he's on there pretty good. All right, there we go. Not a bad bass. All the way back in this creek. Did miss two on that tree, which I'm pretty upset about, but oh well, on the swim bait again. I don't think I've caught any fish on anything other than a swim bait today, but there we go. Number three, there he goes. What time is sunset? Sunset will be at 6.28 PM today. Looks like we got an hour, an hour left to fish. I'm extremely happy with the day that we've had so far. We're still gonna try to catch some more in this hour, and we have been catching them really good actually for this time of year i never would have thought this lake would have been this good this time of year we used to come on here and not catch any fish at all and we've tried everything but now we're, we're really starting to figure out this lake especially this year up until really this spring we didn't find we and we've been fishing this lake for years and we could never come out here and catch fish but now up until spring of this year we can come out here and we can catch a decent amount of fish each time we come out here we're really starting to figure out this lake now we're going to try to catch at least let's set a goal here two more in this next hour we're going to try to catch two more i think we're about to make a run out of this creek and go try to find another one but we're going to try to catch at least two more in this next hour we made it to the last creek that we're going to be fishing because we're running out of light and i do not have lights on my boat yet so we're gonna have to fish this pretty quick then we're gonna ah oh, click there we go. We're gonna have to head off the water, but we're gonna continue to throw the swim bait and hopefully have some success. Still trying to get those two fish. There we go, got one. There we go, on the swim bait. All the way back in this creek. Ah, get up here, bud. There we go. We need one more fish to get the two fish. This creek looked too good. I was on my way back and this just looked too good. And good thing I stopped here because we got our, got one fish. There we go. Not really been all too big, but man, is this guy fat? He's a chunky guy. There we go. We're gonna get him back now. Man, I love fishing swim baits. Here we go. There he goes, right back down. Fishing parallel to the bank again. Came out, tap, tap, tap. And there he was, right on there. It is almost time for me to make a Bass Pro Shops run. I'm literally taking the swim baits off my Alabama rig and using them. I'm completely out of swim baits. I got another one. There we go. This is the second fish. This is the second fish. Oh my gosh. Get over here. The next cast. He's a little bit nicer too. Oh yes. There we go. This is the nicer one. This is, a, I don't know why I reeled up so much. What am I doing? Jeez. Why did I reel up so much? There we go. This is the biggest fish of the day right here. And we did indeed get our second fish. This guy, this guy's nice. This guy's a nicer one. Yeah, this guy's for sure 14 inches right here. Could bump him, but I know he's already 14. That's how you want him hooked right there, right in the top of the lip. Just pop it out, just like that. There we go. That is a nicer one. Actually, I don't know if he's 14. He'll be really close if he's not. That was literally the next cast. This might be a good looking bank. I saw this bank and it made me, it made me pull over. So there we go. Biggest fish of the day on the swim bait. Get her back now. There she goes. Man, I was literally talking about how I need to go to Bass Pro Shops and buy some more swim baits. Bass Pro Shops brand swim baits are the only swim baits that I fish, but desperate times call for desperate measures. I've been fishing a Strike King swim bait. I mean, they're not bad, but the Bass Pro Shops ones are way more durable. We're not even all the way back in this creek yet, and we've got two fish. It's looking good so far. Oh my gosh. There we go, got another one right off the tree. This feels like a nicer one. Oh yeah, and it is. Oh wait, I can't see it, I can't see it. There we go, got another one off this tree. I knew this tree looked too good. I knew it. I knew this tree looked too good. I had to try it. Got one on the brush hog. 
man, this guy's actually a little bit bigger. He still had some fight in him, though. I jerked him right up off the tree. Got another one. This is extra from the challenge that I was doing. I just wanted two more. This is my fifth fish of the day, I'm pretty sure. Get him back. Swim right back off to your tree. I'm gonna try to pull another one off here, just because that was right away. That was literally my first cast. So that's gonna do it for this bank. It did end up having a great day though. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to a ton of amazing content. Come your way and you're not gonna miss it. We had a great time out on the lake today. Caught, I think we caught two bass so far, but I don't know, I'm, I'm doing the intro in the middle of the day, or kind of like in the middle of my time, just so that I have light for the outro. But we caught most of our fish today on this right here, a little swim bait. So we're gonna be coming out on the lake tomorrow and we're gonna be trying to do better than we did today, but we'll, we'll have to see what happens. But anyways, thanks for watching. See ya.